Hey guys, it's Sig. Uh, I took apart my Netfinder. Uh, we're just going to show you what's wrong with it right now. I don't know if you can see, but that catch right there is just destroyed, and I was making an effort to try to get it. Um, <coughs> I can find the actual catch mechanism. Oh, it's on it. <laughs> um, trying to give it some more space to be able to hold on and cling to the part where it's supposed to hold on to without giving it um, too much space that so that you know it would be able to do everything. I'm trying to play music over this one, see if it will help make it a little bit less boring. Um, but as it is right now, it's just it's act, acting as a ramp and making it worse. So if I can find my knife, because sandpaper, I don't have a sanding block, so sandpaper doesn't work for it because it just sands down at an angle. I'm gonna try to get a flat edge started up this alright, so we're cutting that up a little bit I'm just trying to see if we can't give it a little bit of a plateau to sit on because what I did previously just messed up more which is never smart um, this plunger tube or plunger rod is a bondode so that it's a little bit stronger that's pretty much irrelevant now though there's a <coughs> huge gaping hole in it <laughs> so alright just trying to flip that down and cut it a little bit alright I got pliers in here somewhere I'll be picking up a lot of pieces Um, this is what the plunger head looks like. You can see it down there. I uh, e taped it. It's got a better seal. There's some foam on it. Pads it. That's always nice. It's a good thing to do. Even though it doesn't help if your blaster doesn't work at all. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so. Alright, so I got some shavings up. I'm just going to pull them off. This is going to be a long video. But unfortunately, I don't really have much of a choice to do anything else because this is a very long and arduous process. So right now you can't see is that little piece sticking off. I'm trying to rip that down. These needle noses are a little bit warped so they're making it difficult for me. Because things can never be easy with Nerf guns in me. What do we have to talk about? Um, I don't know. Um, I'm just gonna try to keep it on the nerf subject because I usually tend to bounce around a lot. Um, as far as nerf goes, I'm hoping to get something for my birthday and Christmas. That'd be really nice. And honestly, like while something like a hailfire would be really great, I don't want something that bulky for HVZ. It's gonna be running a lot. Ideally, I would get an Alpha Trooper, and maybe I'll get the Elite version of it come Christmas, so I'm going to ask for that for Christmas. And then if the Elite version comes out beforehand, I'm just going to let them know, you know, update. This is what I want instead, and I'm probably not going to get it, because well, that's kind of a hard ass. But uh, for my birthday, I'll probably ask for something like, just something fun, probably. Let's maybe like a bulk thing of smaller blasters like uh I don't know, just smaller stuff. Alright. What we're doing right now. We're working on that wedge. Hopefully you can hear the music okay. And it's not terrible sounding because I figured you know it's since it's a laptop mic anyways. Don't really see how it wouldn't work because it sounds okay over team speak and everything like that, so, I mean, not the actual sound quality, because it is a laptop mic, but it, it doesn't sound all fuzzy and stuff, like it's coming from an alternate source, which is good, because I hate it when music sounds like that. Alright, so we're very carefully working on that groove, there's something to work into. And it looks like we got it.
all my bondo is falling out, so evidently I didn't do a great job. Oh, wow, those ridges run really deep. Um, I don't know if you see this, but the ridges on the bottom of the plunder tube, or rod, rather, whoa, never drop your knife, especially not on your nuts, um, runs all the way through. So all this bondo has just been wasted for now, anyways, until I can get a piece of plastic to cover it, but it's not like the spring that we've got on there is a BBB spring or anything like that, it's not that big. So I'm just going to work up that groove a little bit more. It's a lot like whittling with plastic. Terrible for my knife, but that's fine because I'm planning on getting another one. This knife is never really particularly a good knife. I've had it since I was very young, though, so I'm never going to throw it away, but... A Remington fishing knife, I believe. Yeah. Alright. So I've got our groove all sanded in. Looks like it should work with the catch mechanism. Um, I'm just going to do a little test with it. Slide the catch into the blaster. Put everything, get, all, get it all situated, situated without the plunder tube and the barrel. I'm pull it back. Does come over and oh crap! All right, try that again. <laughs> I love this song, by the way. It's got Charlie Chaplin quotes in it from oh, it's his most popular movie. I keep forgetting, but it was something about um, it was a quote where he was portrayed as Hitler, and he like it was like portrayed as if he was Hitler um, partway into his gaining of chancellor, I think? But uh, he makes a speech about how he doesn't want to be a dictator and all that good stuff. So it's a pretty inspiring speech. Great material. But, um, alright, so this is what I got going on here. I'm going to hold the catch in. It does catch. I'm going to push it forward. Pull the trigger, and it does come forward. It may take a little bit of coaxing on the plunger, but as long as we get it working, that's really not that important. So we've got that for right now. It's a little rough, um, but we're going to put that back together, um, see if it works. If it does, I'll let you guys know. If not, then I'll just make another video trying to fix it more, I guess. My bond out. <sighs> All right. See you guys later.